Introduction The test item COPS and Triquas and obtained from Kumar Organic Products Limited was evaluated for toxicity in fishes SIP renews Carpio. Common carp as per OECD guideline for testing of chemicals. Fish Acute Toxicity Test Guideline No. 203 adopted on 17th July 1992 and as per the mutually agreed study protocol. Entitled Toxicity Evaluation of Cops and Triquathan in Fishes SIP Renews Carpio. Fishes were housed under standard laboratory conditions, with adequate fresh air supply with at least 80% of oxygen concentration saturation value, with 12 hours light and 12 hours dark cycle. The temperature of 20 to 24 degrees Celsius was maintained. The fishes were acclimatized for 13 days to laboratory conditions and observed for clinical signs daily. The fishes were fed adelimidum daily until 24 hours before the test item exposure. Good quality natural drinking water of pH range 6.0 to 8.0 was used. The study consisted of 9 groups G1 to G9 and each group comprised of 8 fishes weighing 1 to 2 grams. G1 for control. G2 for vehicle control, methanol, G3 to G9 with test item concentration of 0 0.035, 0.060, 0.101, 0.172, 0.292, 0.497, and 0.5 to 2 micromoles per liter of water were allocated respectively. The test item was administered through direct exposure method by dissolving in water. The test was carried out under static condition up to seven days of duration. All the fishes were observed for clinical signs of toxicity, mortality and for visible abnormalities at 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, 144 and 168 hours post-exposure. The numbers of operculum beats were recorded up to 20 seconds upon test item exposure for at least five individual fishes across all the groups from the recorded videos. The mean values of all the groups were calculated and compared for any dose response changes either decrease or increase in the number of operculum counts. The group 1 fishes were maintained in normal water and did not receive any test item exposure. This group served as control for comparison. All the fishes were normal. The group two fishes received methanol and served as vehicle control. There were no clinical signs of toxicity and mortalities upon clinical observations. There were no visible abnormalities such as loss of equilibrium, swimming behavior, respiratory function, and pigmentation. However there was a marginal increase in the number of operculum counts from the recorded video. The group three fishes received 0.035 micromoles of test item. There were no clinical signs of toxicity and mortalities upon clinical observations. There were no visible abnormalities noticed during the entire study period. The fishes at group 4 received 0.06 micromoles of test item per liter of water. Similarly there were no clinical signs of toxicity and mortalities upon clinical observations. There were no visible abnormalities noticed during the entire study period when compared to control group. The fishes at group 5 received 0.101 micromoles of test item per liter of water. These fishes did not reveal any signs of toxicity upon clinical observations and were comparable to the control. The group 6 fishes received 0.172 micromoles of test item per liter of water. These fishes were normal upon clinical observations and did not show any changes in the other per the fishes at group 7 received 0.292 micromoles of test item per liter of water. These fishes did not show any changes in all the parameters evaluated and were similar to control. The fishes at group 8 received 0.497 micromoles of test item per liter of water. These fishes did not show mortalities or signs of toxicity upon clinical observations. There were no changes in visible abnormal. The group 9 fishes received 0.52 micromoles of test item per liter of water. There were no clinical signs of toxicity and mortalities upon clinical observations. There were no visible abnormalities such as loss of equilibrium, swimming behavior, respiratory function, and pigmentation. However there was a marginal increase in the number of operculum counts from the recorded videos and was in conclusion there were no clinical signs of toxicity and mortality upon clinical observations in all the animals. There were no visible abnormalities such as loss of equilibrium, swimming behavior, respiratory function, 
and pigmentation the 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, 144 and 168 hours of exposure with test item at different concentrations tested. The operculum beat counts across all the groups also did not reveal any statistical significant changes at the doses tested.